We're really at a, a revolutionary time in oncology with the birth of knowledge of checkpoint inhibition. Checkpoint inhibitors are fundamental to T cell activation, and now we can block these checkpoints and activate T cells. And what these therapies do either by themselves or in combination now is create a very active T cell that can then seek and destroy cancer, which previously was, was hidden either because the T cell was exhausted and not able to attack the cancer or it wasn't activated enough. But clearly this isn't enough in many cancers. And I think we're very interested in looking for other areas other than the T cell activation that may assist the T cell further. And the innate immune response is really uh, fairly undiscovered at this point. This drug, Imprime PGG, really is exciting because it activates this innate immune system that then has a cascade of effects, both in activating T cells and in decreasing immunosuppression in the tumor microenvironment. So in preclinical models, and now early clinical data suggesting this may be very effective as a combination and allow more patients to benefit from immunotherapy. The other exciting thing is it appears that we've identified a biomarker for this drug, anti-beta glucan antibody, that seems to predict for better responses to the innate modulator uh, in prime PGG. So, not only do we have a very interesting mechanism of action, but we have a biomarker that appears to help us select patients that may uh, benefit most from this therapy. This early data and this early mechanism is, is novel, and it sort of reminds me of the early days of ipilimumab, the CTL4 checkpoint inhibitor, which I was fortunate enough to be involved with in the very first human studies. And what excites me is uh, we've sort of had a lot of attention on T cells now for the last decade, but I think there's a very uh, important, you know, innate component of this immune system. And we may be in very early days of some very exciting data that will allow us to treat more patients, particularly in tumor types that may not be as amenable to straightforward checkpoint inhibition like triple negative breast cancer.